Hello everyone, I'm Chan from Talon Battle. Welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to check the previous year Infosys Verbal Ability questions. As we know, Infosys plan to hire 2023 batch students through on-campus placements. This video will help you to prepare for it. Also, we have started our live training on Infosys specific in which we will be covering the previous year questions of reasoning ability, mathematical ability, verbal ability, pseudo codes and puzzle solving. So if you are interested, try to join the batch and join our social media handles like Telegram group, Instagram page and WhatsApp group. We constantly update placement preparation updates and off campus updates on our pages. Links to all these handles are given in the description below. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications about our videos. So let's start the very first question. Okay, guys, so before I do start with every question, try to pause the video and then answer on your own and then check with the video part. Now, let's go with the question. I hope you have answered this. Given Hong Kong has been endowed with one of the finest natural harbor in the world. Guys, if you do observe our previous videos on YouTube, uh, regarding the verbal ability questions would have definitely answered this question without much further ado, right? What is that? Now, basically here we have something called one of the, one of the, for example, this is one of my favorite movie or movies, everybody, movie or movies. Look. Here comes the point. Whenever we have one of, definitely the word we are talking about should be a plural. Why? Look, you are talking about many movies. You have many movies as a favorite, but this is particularly one of them. All right. One of them. One of them means what? One of the movies you have as a favorite and this one. So similarly here also, Hong Kong has been endowed with one of the finest natural harbors it should be, but not harbor. I hope you all understood the point, everybody. And there's a golden rule that you can remember. What is that? Whenever we have one of the, the next word upcoming should be a plural word. So just remember that case and you can do good with any of the questions, right? So here we have an error in the harbors part and harbor is an option B and that's what my answer is everybody, right? I hope you enjoyed this one. Now moving on to the next one. What is the time in your watch? Okay, we have some proportions that to be selected on, by, from. Or no corrections required. So try to answer this. I hope you did. Now everybody, if I'm not wrong, most of you would have said no correction required. Why? Because basically we'll ask what is the time in your watch. But actually this is wrong. The statement given and the preposition used in is wrong. Why? Why? Because basically time particularly is an abstract word, right? It doesn't have any body or form, right? Then how can we ask what is the time in your watch? First of all, since it cannot be contained in a watch or something, no. So time cannot be contained in anything because time has no form, no form or body. So definitely we cannot point out time and ask what is that in your watch? Right, everybody? So time in is basically wrong. Since it can't be contained, it can't be contained in a watch, right? In a watch or it can be anything. It can be in anything. All right? So that's why definitely in is a wrong part. I hope you all understood this point, everybody. Mentioning one last thing, time is an abstract word which doesn't have any form. Since we don't have any form for time, we cannot point out what is the time in your watch. So whenever we say, uh, like, what is the time in your watch, we should be pointing out that, but we are unable to do that. That is why it is the wrong part. Now, similarly, on. Now, on also the same kind of explanation we can give. So on also, on watch, on watch, means again, there should be something on top of the watch. So time is an abstract form where we don't have any such for the time. So definitely in and on are the wrong options. So guys, we have one more option that is time. So whenever we say the time by, time by is nothing but according to your watch, everybody. Time by your watch says according to your watch. So according to your watch, what is the time? So this I can say is the perfect statement that one can ask. So what is the time according to your watch is what I can ask. We cannot ask what is the time in your watch, on your watch or from the watch. That is definitely by is the only correct proposition that can use. Similarly, from can be. 
at everybody. I hope you are completely understood this point, and this is a fun fact that you have learned. Right now, moving on to the next. Fill in the blanks with the most appropriate choice. Okay, let us read the question. I often feel I am on dash that I would be more at home at the turn of the century than today. Right. If you do observe the options, we have to take one of the options as an answer. Right. So most of you might have a problem. What is that? Most of you might not know what are the meanings of the given options. Hardly you might know one or two. Analogous, analogy, we know that word. Right? I told you multiple times to split the words whenever we are root words. So analogy is a root word that can be used in a analogous. So what is analogy? Analogy, we do compare, no? Right? In aptitude, compare, or likewise, or similar, etc. etc. Right? And any other word that you might know? Yeah, so some might be knowing about the word called apathy because apathy is a very regular word that you might use or heard. So when it comes to apathy, apathy means lack of interest, right? Lack of interest or lack of concern also we can use that, right everybody? So whereas the option A and option C mostly are unknown of the meanings. Now my dears, without knowing the meanings, is it correct to select one of the options? Definitely not. You have more chances of making it wrong as well as you have less chances of giving it correct. Why? Because maybe the unknown means might be the answers. So that is why vocabulary plays a very key role while selecting the answers when it comes to synonyms and names or such fill in the blanks. Because fill in the blanks also takes the help of vocabulary things. You must have a good command on the vocabulary part. Now everybody, as most of you might not know what are the other meanings, so mostly you will think, okay, I often feel I am in dash and dash that I would be more at home at the turn of the century than today. That means you are not being at home is the according to the question. So according to the question, the guy or the person, is he being at home? No, is not being at home. At least as of time, that currently we can say that. So we can use that as lack of interest, he might not be at his home. So mostly people will go with option B, but I'm sorry, you are wrong. Option B is the wrong answer. I hope you answer the same when you try it. Right? Now, why? Because analogous, um, I often feel I'm like dash. Okay, so here there is no comparison that been done. Right? So no comparison means not option of B. Now everybody, in between A and C, what will fit the best? Now, A is our eyes. First of all, what is the meaning? The meaning of the word is extremely greeted. Extreme greed. Either uh, like uh, for wealth or material. We can say that. Either for wealth or material. Now everybody, look, only you'll get to know whenever you hear from someone or learn from something. Correct? So you must learn and remember. And by the way, how to remember? We have told you some strategies if I'm not wrong. I'll tell you one more. So here, I'm going to remember this word for, look, this is going to be funny, but still a way much better method to remember. So how I'm going to remember this word for so long time as a meaning of extreme greed, I'll tell you. Look, you have rice now. Remember a foodie. So what does a foodie do? The foodie eats a lot of rice. He always uh, is extremely greed for food if I'm not wrong. So that is how you can at least remember this word for a longer time. Guys, this is not the actual meaning. This is just to remember. Okay. Now I told you mnemonics. Mnemonics is the uh, like strategy that we use to remember such words whenever we don't know the words. All right. So now everybody, is there anything like he's extremely greed for something or wealth here in this question? No. So definitely not A. That says C must be the answer. And let's learn what is C also. C says anachronism. What means anachronism? Look, anachronism actual meaning says one who doesn't belong to this situation or current time. Now, if you observe the question also very carefully, he's talking about, I would be more, I would be more means he's thinking that I would be more. So he can be more at time at the turn of the century than today. So better than today, he can be more spending his time at his home. All right, everybody. So he's not actually doing in the current point he wants to do it in the future at least so that itself says he's not belong to the current situation actually the person 
right so that is definitely anachronism is the correct answer and by the way we have a root word again chronology right what means chronology order a certain order i can say a certain order of numbers or events my dear right so and that too particularly anachronism talks about an error in the chronology an error in the chronology part i hope you all understood the points everybody right so that is why option must be c but not a b everybody since you don't know the meaning you might have selected but still i hope you have learned some good words over here and you have some good strategies to remember also so whenever you are unable to remember try to remember using some funny trick that will definitely help you to remember for so long time i hope you will never forget this analyze from now on right why because you remembered in certain way that you will not forget and similarly anachronism we have the term itself like chronology which says the order of event and here there is a wrong order of uh, time that is happening with him right that is not belong to the current because he wanted to be more in the future that says option c must be the answer everybody i hope you thoroughly love this now moving on to the next in this question a statement has been given okay followed by two assumptions numbered 1 and 2 Analyze the two assumptions together and determine which of them follows. Okay. Now, what exactly I'll tell you? Look, these are called statements or statement and assumptions, which comes under the, the concept of critical reasoning. All right, my dears. So, critical reasoning, which is actually very important. Now, so in critical reasoning, we have many like statement and assumption, like uh, statement and course of action. right statement and inferences etc etc so this question is particularly regarding the statement and assumption part now so they will give a statement right they will give a statement and what they ask us to do they ask us to assume something that favors the statement guys that favors the statement as in we have to make sure that certain assumptions we are thinking look what is an assume assume is nothing but what you think so you have to think some statement which favors the statement that says the statement is correct right yeah now given the statement is the use of breath analysis to check if the drivers are drunk has been stopped by the traffic police to prevent the spread of coronavirus to the traffic police okay what is the statement that's happened here traffic police people have stopped using the breath analysis to control what to control the spread of coronavirus right when they are actually checking with the drunken drivers correct now what is the assumption why they have stopped why for what purpose they have did this is what we have to assume but that assumption should satisfy or should uh, give a favor to the statement all right now assumption one coronavirus can be passed on to the traffic police only by drunken people okay do you think so only by drunken people can be the word no if it is given by drunken people there is a chance but only no this is not the only case where uh, like corona virus can be spread out so there are multiple cases right so as given only definitely this is a wrong assumption but if it is given the corona virus can be spread can be a possibility on to the traffic police by drunken people yes we can select at that point of time but not now because of the given called only right because it is not only the option not only a way there are multiple ways now going on to the second assumption the traffic police do not want to be infected with the coronavirus if i'm not wrong this is a definitely a correct assumption why because since they don't want to get infected with the coronavirus they are not using the breath analysis to do any more with the drunk people because they do touch uh, the breath analysis machine and then they keep into the mouth of drivers so definitely there is a huge chance of spreading the coronavirus and that's why they don't want to get infected so that says assumption 2 is for sure implicit implicit means follows all right everybody follows implicit implicit that says only assumption 2 follows is the answer which is option b my dears right i hope you got good information regarding the statement and assumption information also right now going on to the last okay this is one new form of questions that been asked in infosys actually okay so that is why i wanted to include this let us see what is a new type now given passage a recent survey shows that india has the lowest death rate for blood cancer china thailand and myanmar the countries that have taste for spices 
also have low rates okay not only india actually right the countries like china thailand and myanmar who are also having the taste for spices right also have low rates low rates of what low rates of death for blood cancer but there are higher rates are found in usa where spices are not used okay so that says something about much importance of spicy for more now given one more stupid the typical american food reminds chicken rolls butter and beef so that definitely says spices plays a major role in preventing the death rate for blood cancer right yeah so now given the statement what is the statement americans dislike spices is what the given is okay first let us go with the options now given the options guys what are the options the first option is if the inference is definitely true the second option is if the inference is probably true okay if you observe everywhere we are talking about the inference 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 first of all what is inference look i'll tell you two words reference what is a reference reference is something you can directly take so whenever they are given reference statements reference means directly taken from the passage or the paragraph directly taken whereas inference means indirectly taken the opposite indirectly taken by understanding the passage they won't give directly so we have to understand and take from the passage that is called inference so now everybody given a statement is an inference one so have to tell whether this inference statement taken from the passage is true or probably true or definitely false or probably false and there is one more option called inadequate let's see now given american dislike spices look just because they are not using like uh, uh, usa people have hardly any remains of species can i say they don't like no it is not the possibility and given americans that means they are generalizing everyone so we cannot say that it is not definitely true probably uh, mostly but still let us go with one more option if you think the data is inadequate yes or no everybody look i'm not so very sure about whether the americans don't like species or not but still they are not using that's all they are not using that doesn't mean they are don't like it why because there are chances where they don't get spices where they have to import and that's a huge cost etc etc all right everybody yeah so there are certain parameters now so the inference is probably false maybe may not be i cannot say that again definitely false no not definitely false i can say that but everybody if you observe here we can select an option out of all these five what is that yes that is option c why because i don't know whether the data given is sufficient to get this inference statement from the passage right we don't have any particular data which talks about the americans doesn't like the spices part all everybody i hope you thoroughly understood this question also so at times it can be probably false at times it can be probably true right at times it can be definitely and definitely true or false so there are these five situations where you have to go accordingly right so we'll see more such questions in the live sessions so guys that's all for the video hope you understood the question and the explanation thank you for watching the video till the end if you have liked the video don't forget to press the like button also join our social media handles like telegram group instagram page and whatsapp group links to all these handles are given in the description thank you guys